Hey everybody, it's Fernando. On today's video, we're gonna do a little project, but first, I've got to tell you what happened to me today. It's embarrassing and I can't believe I'm sharing it with you, but I'm gonna tell you anyway because it's just... You probably know that I'm trying to reach skinny bitch status. We're going on a cruise and, you know, I wanna look good and all that stuff for the cruise or whatever. So I go walking every day. I walk around my neighborhood and it's about 4.3 miles. So I go out and I get started walking and you know, I'm in a good mood. It's a beautiful day. I'm admiring the trees and everything and looking at people's houses and whatnot. I'm about 10 minutes away from my house and then it hits me like a ton of bricks. I mean, it, it stopped me dead in my tracks and I was like, oh God, please no. It was the dreadful rectal itch. Yes, I said it. I said it out loud. Don't judge me. You know, you've all experienced it before. So I start back walking again, and then I'm like in my mind, I'm like, dear sweet baby Jesus, if you hear me, please make it stop. Please make it stop. It did not stop. Four miles I had to endure this. If I had ever needed a loofah sponge in my entire life, I made it back home, and as soon as I walked home and walked in the door, it got better. Life's funny that way. God's little joke. So thank you for allowing me to share. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do today. It's uh, it's a DIY glitter accent bowl that I found on Pinterest. So I thought it might be fun to do. Um, here are the, uh, the steps. I don't know if it's clear if you can see it very clearly. And so that's what I'm going to go ahead and get started doing. And I have everything that I need to do it. I have a bowl to set the balloon in. Glue, Mod Podge, sponge brushes, balloons and extra fine glitter. The champagne gold. So I'm really digging gold right now. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow up a balloon. I guess that's about a good size. So it's done. I actually let it dry overnight and it looks like it's ready to go. It's kind of uh, firm. I'm ready to go ahead and pop it. Oh my god, I really worry about my mind sometimes because I'm thinking, okay, now I gotta find a damn pen to pop it. And I have this whole thing full of pens that I use for my sewing projects. Ugh. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. It's uh, kind of folding in up here at the top, so I'm actually just gonna trim that with some scissors here. So here it is. So I found some plastic limes that we had lying around and I put some tissue in it and um, put those in there. I'm very happy with it. I love the way it looks. It was actually really fun to make. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.